Egypt Queen Manfombi Lamine Zulu has been interred in a private ceremony this in the early hours of this morning. The official provincial memorial service for the late Queen will be held at 10 a.m. at Kwa Kangela Mangangane Royal Palace this in Guangdongoma. ENCS Tuba Vilan is covering the story for us and he joins us now to give us an update. Colleague, a very warm good morning to you. We understand that uh, uh, you know, the Queen has officially been interred. I can imagine this being a difficult time uh, for the family, but also memorial service is to follow this very morning. As for the royal family, I think one would say they are done now because we understand the Queen would have been interred in the early hours of today. What usually happens is that as we understand that the body arrives here at Guacangela on Wednesday and the Queen's remains spent a day and we understand in the early hours of today that's when the Queen was in Ted. That's what we've been briefed and told by the, the royal family. What we're expecting today is that there's going to be a memorial service led by the provincial government that is going to take place here where we are. What is different to Melo from what we saw when the king was buried is that everything that was happening, especially the memorial service that was led by national government, was happening inside the palace. The main marquee where the service was taking place was inside the palace. But here today, the service it will be taking place on the marquee on my right. So we're expecting that just before the service starts, the royal family members and other dignitaries will be walking out of this palace on my, on my left to the main marquee where the service is going to be taking place. Here where we are, there is a, a main marquee and there is also another marquee which we believe is an overflow. And on the other side, there is a big screen that has been erected. We believe that for people that will be outside, because remember we're still under lockdown regulations, so the restrictions still remain. The number of people that are going to be allowed inside the marquee are limited. Absolutely. And with that being said, we can understand that you know, I'm sure um, so many dignitaries would have appreciated being there to pay their last respects uh, to the Queen, but also to offer support to the royal family. And with that being said, too, but then who can we expect uh, to speak at the memorial service? We know for sure that Dr. Nkosa Zana Zamini Zuma will be um, also speaking. And we know Premier of the province, Sihles Galala, is also expected to deliver the eulogy. And we know that former President Zuma will also be in attendance, though he's not on the program. But on the, on the side of the family, we know that um, the children, who are prince and the princesses um, of, of the late queen, will also be speaking, paying respect to their fallen mother. We know that Prince Miss Zulu is one of the children that are expected to speak on the program. You know the history around and the speculation around Miss Zulu. Uh, many people have been saying that he's the one that is expected to take the throne. As we'll understand throughout the week, we've been, we've been reporting that there are speculations that some are even preparing to make announcement. And the report was that the announcement will be made as soon as the body enters the, 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 the ground. So we're not sure when and what time that will happen, but we are expecting that to happen whether today or any any time soon after today. All right, colleague, we'll be sure to keep up to date with you. That's our ENCA reporter, Tuba Vilane, out in Guanongoma, where that memorial service for the Regent Queen, the late Regent Queen at that, uh, Manfobitla Minnesota, is expected to take place at 10 a.m. this morning.